Welcome to my channel. This is my third requested reaction and this one is interesting to me. Um, the name of the artist is Kim Jung-Yun. I'm not sure how to pronounce this. J-O-N-G-H-U-Y-N. Jung-Yun. Which to me is an Asian sounding name. But the name of the song is in Spanish, Y si fuera ella. <laughs> so, I'm not sure what to think of this. Y si fuera ella means, and if it were her. So, um, Looks like we have an Asian singer singing a Spanish song, which is really interesting. I, I've never, I don't think I've ever come across that before. Um, but let me see here. I'm looking at the subtitles. Okay. Uh, it has subtitles in Korean, so maybe he's a Korean singer. I guess you'll just have to tell me in the comments uh, before we get into the video though I do want to thank you for coming here and for supporting me for the unbelievable growth of my channel it just keeps growing and growing and growing it's it's amazing to me I'm just absolutely gobsmacked and also I want to remind you as I do with every single video that I put the links to the artists in the description field of my videos and I do that hoping that you will support them and you can support them in one way by buying their music if you like their music so this is Kim uh, Jung Huen singing Y Si Fuera Ella <laughs> I do have the subtitles turned on.
Okay. Um, okay, that song is heart-wrenchingly sad. Uh, and he acted it out very well. Uh, the way that he uh, behaved during the performance and the way that he portrayed the emotions of the actual lyrics that he was singing, I thought was really, really good. Um, I thought it was a little over dramatic at the end there where they they did the shot sound and then he shows up with, you know, blood on his shirt. Um, not sure what they were trying to portray there. Um, I found his voice at the beginning a little bit breathy, but then as he built up towards the later parts of the song, his voice got stronger, and I, I just thought, you know, um, he doesn't have a great voice like a Dimash or an Amira, but he has a good voice, definitely a good voice, um, kind of young um, one of you uh, one of my followers uh, uh, among my followers of the Spanish speaking people let me know what you thought of his pronunciation I I have to be honest with you it, it didn't sound like Spanish to me I, not that I'm necessarily all that attuned to Spanish, but I do have a Puerto Rican son-in-law and my, my daughter, his wife, speaks fluent Spanish, so I'm around Spanish uh, more than a lot of people are in America. And uh, it just didn't sound like Spanish to me, but it probably was, I don't know. Uh, I'm no expert, that's for sure. But anyway, I thought it was an interesting performance. Uh, he, uh, as I say, a little bit over dramatic for me, uh, but enjoyable nonetheless, and uh, an interesting song. Uh, the lyrics are. Uh, I think maybe most of us have felt that way at one point in our lives with someone that we cared about that no longer cared about us. So, uh, I guess you could say that's a universal emotion, huh? <laughs> anyway, those are my thoughts. Uh, I pray that my channel and that what I do on this channel will be a glory to God and I pray that you can see that and that you can take from my example that it is possible to be a reasonable person an intelligent person and be a Christian at the same time I know that seems like uh, an impossible combination nowadays Christians are supposed to be these rabid, crazy extremists that want to control everyone's lives, which <laughs> I can't even control my own life. Why would I try to control yours? That's insane. That's absolutely insane. Uh, but on the other hand, I do feel a need to speak out on moral issues and say there is something wrong when we are having drag queens dancing in front of kindergartners. If you can't see that that's wrong, then I don't understand that, how you can't see that. It wasn't five, six years ago that that would have been thought of as outrageous, and now all of a sudden it's normal? No, it's not normal. And as a Christian, I have to call it out. And I don't even think you have to be Christian to call that out. But that's just my opinion. 
I have no control over any of this except to pray and to speak when I can and to hope that somebody's listening. That's it. And I pray that God will bless you, my followers, my viewers, with great abundance in your life as he's promised in his word and that he will bless you with the peace that passes all understanding. And I pray that he will do that also for every single person that you love. This is the Vietnam Era vet out. <laughs>